G'day. Now this video will show you how I create my wood turning videos. I'll cover the equipment I use, techniques, lighting, editing and finally publishing. Whether you are a beginning or a seasoned expert who has chosen wood turning as your niche, this video is just the ticket. Some background on me, just a little bit. I was born in the UK and at the age of nine, my family and I moved to sunny Perth, Western Australia. For 52 years, I built and owned three successful software companies. Talk about burning the candle at both ends. Anyway, my passion for woodworking lay largely dormant until I moved with my wife Robin to the USA. We now reside in Connecticut, where I finally have the time to focus on woodworking, particularly wood turning. To all my loyal subscribers, a hearty thank you. And for those who haven't subscribed yet, do consider giving that like button a gentle tap and subscribing by the end of this video. Now, for the equipment. Of course, the star of the show is of the Laguna 2436 3.5 horsepower lathe. Before the Laguna, I used an Excelsa 10 inch mini lathe. Since the video is about making videos, I won't bore you with this ins and outs and wood turning lathes and tools. That's for another video. Suffice to say, most modern lathes work the same way. I spin a lump of wood and we turn a scrape, cut, chisel, shave, and sand it <laughs> into something useful. Piece of cake, right? Now back to making the video. In the beginning, my camera was an iPhone 10 and I hadn't the foggiest idea what I was doing. I then moved to several 4K USB webcams connected to the OBS Studio and an Elgato streaming hub but I wasn't terribly pleased with the editing time or the final product. After upgrading my iPhone to a 14 Max and using Filmic Pro, I ditched the iPhone and OBS was replaced with the Filmora editing suite. A few months ago, I bought the Sony ZV-E10 DSLR camera and an Insta360 GO 3S 4K camera used mainly for B-roll clips. Before this purchase, I spent months glued to other YouTubers' channels, reading videography books and listening to seasoned pros. Not much different from what you guys do, I'm, I'm sure. There are simply too many of the people that I've seen on those YouTube channels to list here. I'm eternally grateful for their wisdom. The moral of the story, look, listen and learn before splashing out on expensive gear. No regrets. I'm really happy with what I've purchased and it is a step up. Start with what you've got though, and keep producing content, no matter how it looks. A top tip starting the channel, no matter the niche, is to upload videos constantly. No matter the frequency or the quality that will come in time, simply upload at a regular interval and improve each video as you move forward. Now, for the lighting and rigging, lighting is just as important as having a camera. If not more so, if you want your content to shine, Lighting must come first. There are plenty of YouTubers who can give you the lowdown and the technical aspects needed to improve your videos over time. I use Niwa LED panels for my main lighting, Niwa Spot LED S60 for a secondary, and a Ulanzi Spot LED to uh, highlight or remove shadows, particularly under here. Rigging provides multiple points to mount your cameras. I use two tripods, an overhead half inch steel pine pipe, two Manfrotto magic arms, top rig S60 slider, and an Ambipool GMO2 small 60 inch crane for a horizontal leather mounted on a tripod. I rely on the newer quick release system on all mounting points for both cameras. There are over 10 points to move cameras quickly and the newer system makes this task a double. This setup grows depending on specific shots needed to for wood types or, or uh, project types. Now, audio mainly comes from the Sony ZV-U10, but I occasionally use the Rode ME Wireless RX and TX setup, Lavalier. I use Apodemic Sound for music tracks. They are top notch and fully copyrighted, ensuring run-ins with YouTube. I shoot all my film segments in 4K, specifically 16.9 format and 100 megabit 24 frames per second. This means a 10 minute video can result in files over 150 gigabytes post editing. A tip, make your clip short. If it takes an hour to hollow out a bowl, don't film for the entire hour. Shoot short selective clips that can be pieced together later. Otherwise you'll end up with massive CPU usage 
making the process as slow as a snail in a sticky bun. Now, as far as editing software is concerned, I've settled and have been completely happy with Filmora from Wondershare. It's an excellent editor, costing just a few dollars a month. There are pricier options with more features, but I stick with Filmora because I've used it for years. It gets the job done. Switching to another software will be a time-consuming hassle and a commodity we all are a bit short on. Check out YouTube channels dedicated to Filmora and you'll be amazed at what it can do. Now, for publishing, I'm not going to go too deep on this. YouTube is the jolly old platform that gives content creators fertile ground to grow their businesses organically. Now, here's a trick, cheeky tip. Replace the algorithm, in brackets, with the audience also, in brackets. Because let's face it, it's your audience you should be wooing. Dive into your video stats like a kid in a candy shop and figure out what your audience fancies and if you're actually delivering the goods. The YouTube analytics really does need some hours spent with it. It's not difficult, but you really need to understand it and spend some time with it. It's as simple as that. I must confess, I'm not always spot on and there's always room for a bit of spit and polish. In fact, this video is a bit of a wild card for me. I'm chucking it at all and hoping it sticks. One of my channel's grand ambitions is to rack up more subscribers or at least narrow the gap between the non-subscribed viewers and the loyal subscribers who keep coming back for more. You can lend a hand by smashing that like button and considering a cheeky subscribe. I've dropped links below for all the goodies I use in my videos. Some of these are affiliate links, so if you fancy making a purchase, I might get a tiny commission. Rest assured, I've brought all of these products for my own hard-earned cash. Now, one of my favourite pastimes is reading and replying to your delightful comments. My audience is a splendid and courteous bunch who faithfully follow my videos each week. Join the fun, say hello, or ask a question. I promise to get back to you pronto. Now, thanks everybody for sticking with me in this video. I hope you got some sort of uh, road length out of it. So, cheers for now and happy turn. See ya.